Rooftons. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Yes, it's the same day, and yes, I don't care. I'm not making a 20 minute video full of shit. I'm just not making a 20 minute video, taking a gearbox off. To, if you don't like it, in bit. I'm not bothered. We're here for the people that do like it. When I follow the journey today, I'm taking a turbo off. Because if you didn't know, we got a brand new T28 turbo built by Midland Turbo, genuine Garrett, blah blah blah. Brand new. We're taking this off. Because while the gearbox is off, it gives us a little bit more room. That's about it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the clip off here. I'm going to undo the hose there. Take this pipe off. Unclamp this. Give ourselves a bit of room. And then I'm going to start undoing the manifold bolts. Make sure they all crack off. Them there. One there, one there, one there. A couple of underneath. Then I'm going to do the oil and water lines. See they're there? Now mine are all braided, you will have copper ones if it's never been done before But I'm replacing them braided ones with some new braided ones Because we've got a big trip coming on Hopefully This is why I'm putting all this effort in For the trip of a lifetime But if it doesn't go to plan, at least the car's ready I'm fingers crossed we're allowed to fly into America That would be amazing But let's get the turbo and the manifold off this is kind of a how-to, but not a how-to. This is how we do, you do you. Get me? Sleepy's, Sleepy's just looking at Japanese car magazines with cars that are the size of a shoebox. He does drive a micro, do he? But yeah, so, gonna set them off that there, them there, and then... What? Ignore him, camera off, come on. Just unplug this, jubilee clip on that, jubilee clip on the turbo, one on the intercooler pipe if I'd leave in there. Then pulled the vacuum pipe off the boost controller, which might be your stock one. And then we look like this. So the plan will be now to take the, the water line, the oil feed, I think that one is. Anyway, I'm just going to take this one, that one, this three braided, and then one oil return to the block. Then I'm going to crack them bolts out. Hopefully they come off. Hopefully. Would be nice. Magic's nearly out. I'm going to take the oil feed off, the oil return, the water feed, the water return. But first, think smart, I'm going to drain the radiator. That's half the job. Who's all my new coolant? Yes, and. Brand new. Well, I didn't get to plan. So the bottom one here, that's oil, so make sure you've got your oil bucket. And I presume this one is the water feed, and I presume the one above it is the water return. And then the oil return is this one here. What a mess. That coolant is brand new, and it's all over the floor. Ah, it's still leaking. So I tied it up a little bit now. Be ready for the mess. That's it, all three are off. Not much oil come out, luckily. But there the, there the bulge. 117, two 19s. And now it's time to bring it down. And hopefully we can get to all the bolts. Take the manifold off. Yeah. Oh, now everything's pretty straightforward. The only two bolts I nearly fell over. They're a pain. They're them two. One there and one there. 
So you get a 14 short on an extension, take this flange off here, put it down there, put it down there, crack them off, you can get to it. That, as far as the manifold go, is probably the only one that's going to be a bit of a pain when you do it. I've had to take my brace off and I've took it out from the top. And this is what we're left with. But look at this. We have one missing. Well, it's not missing, it's snapped. I had no idea. <sighs> well, that's a bit of a pain, eh? So now I'm going to have to drill it out and stuff. But I'm going to clean all this up because it's a bit of a mess. And at the moment, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually debating on dropping the engine. This engine I can drop out half an hour, 45 minutes. I, let, I take it down with the coilovers and the subframe, and I'll drop it on a pallet. I've got to have a word with Cuss and Grant just to make sure that the Civic's not going to be back within a few days because I want to crack on and get the engine done. I want to put an oil cooler on it while I'm at this stage. I'm not going to be putting the turbo on today, so I just pretty much showed you how to do it. There it is. I'm probably going to combine actually removing the gearbox and the turbo in one video because the next couple of videos is going to be me dropping the engine and all that sort of stuff. So what escalated into a little job has now been a normal so. But that is it. I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with the way it's gone, except for one of the bolts is missing. Nothing we can do about it. Hello? No? But yeah, I'm gonna have a chew over that. Think about what I'm gonna do. Busy. I think I've seen that. I think I've seen that. That's all out. I've got even better news. Uh, I'm pregnant. Grant's pregnant. And tomorrow I'm gonna. Um, I'm taking the engine out. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll see you later. In bit.